Hello lovers of African films and theatres, I am VZ and welcome to the Mataha TV YouTube channel. Today we are doing something different, we have a guest and not just a guest, a South African film reviewer. Please do introduce yourself. <laughs> Hi everyone, my name is Dinta Mlezani. I have a channel called Dinta Mlezani Live. I do film reviews as well as lifestyle vlogs. I think that's what they call a shameless plug. I, <laughs> I just asked for your intro. I never said tell the people what you do. <laughs> But Business we, on my mind you know, you have to, you have to. Uh, thank you so much for honoring us with your time. Uh, you're our very first guest. Uh, you know, uh, uh, I just want to know in, in a world where there are beauty reviews, there are whatnot, car reviews, why film reviews? Why local film, film reviews? Well, I've always wanted to have a channel that talks about. A thing that I do on a daily that does not require effort that I actually do all the time without you know having to think too much about it so I watch movies all the time and I always get excited after I see a movie and I want to tell somebody about it and my family really doesn't get it they don't share my excitement mm -hmm. so I think I that I <laughs> kind of found a platform where other people can actually give you the feedback and with the same energy that you have about film and specifically local film. Okay. Do you do you work in, in the film industry? No, I'm actually in corporate, which is kind of weird. <laughs> but I feel like I spend so much time mm -hmm. either talking about film, researching, and just trying to perfect my craft mm -hmm. in this area, especially because during the day i'm doing something completely different mm -hmm. but this is something that kind of fuels me and i feel like it doesn't need a, a lot of energy it. yeah that's what it is yeah that's the best way to describe it because i think i asked because the way you your, your reviews are very detailed and mm -hmm. i always assumed she probably works in form like i don't know doing what maybe a film probably... director loading all up in here <laughs> But that's because I think that's all that's actually if I get into a film, I would actually want to read about it. I would actually want to find out what makes this film actually tick mm -hmm. and not just from your surface based, mm -hmm. but from even a, a technical background of it, because I'm also excited about that. So 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 what 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 kind of support do you want? Um, or do you want what 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 do you want local filmmakers to be doing differently? I had this discussion some time ago with on my channel. I think what is needed for South African film is for it to be accessible to the ordinary mm. South African. So we did speak about in that particular video about not everybody has access to a streaming service, not everybody has access to data. So especially during lockdown obviously all yeah. the cinemas were closed True. so where would people watch the movies mm -hmm. apart from either dstv and zanzi magic and you find that some of the the hottest films are not, not available yet, on that platform. platform so as much as your netflixes and the hulus are cheap in terms of subscription mm -hmm. but anything that is killing us in the country is access to data and the internet and things like that to be able to just watch a film. Yeah. Do, do you think then like local filmmakers could take the initiative of like if their film was streaming on Netflix to just find, figure out a way in which maybe they could take a, a, a mobile cinema truck and take it to the township and charge people 20 rands or rural South Africa and so that people experience the film too because chances are they have not even been able to watch it. They may have seen a TV advert about the film that's if they do invest that much marketing and local film. Yeah, I think I think it, like you have like an important point that you're making there. If filmmakers can take the films and take it to the communities, mm -hmm. I think it will also draw the communities into film. Mm -hmm. Then we get to True. find out what actually people like. Are people mm -hmm. into action, drama, comedy? And then we take in the conversation now to the next level when those two things meet the audience versus the filmmaker and the love of film itself. 
and and and, and you know what somebody said an important thing on your podcast the other day on is it a podcast boys it was podcast. spaces, <laughs> no, it, was spaces. <laughs> it was spaces somebody was saying another thing that um kills the south african industry is that we don't have an identity mm-hmm. where with with indian films you would pick yes, an I'm indian sorry. film mm-hmm. without anybody having to tell you mm-hmm. with nigerian film we also have that so mm-hmm. the narrative or the point that person was making i'm sorry i cannot i, I forgot the name of the mm-hmm. person so i cannot credit them for this point but they had said that south african film tries to look like american okay. films so we end up having to compete on that platform with those type of people True. so nobody who's south african can, can say i can identify with this type of film Food. because it speaks mm-hmm. to me it's from home yeah okay. so i think that is also something to think about okay. from the filmmaker's point or perspective yeah and also it's it's not to censor filmmakers, right? We're not saying we're dictating the type of stories you need to be telling, but bring it closer to home. Mm-hmm. Simple things such as language play a huge role. Like, yeah. And like you know, why why the decision to have you know a a, a picture in English, Gulf yeah. Air, you know, and you serve us subtitles? How many South Africans can read? Mm. But I think with that said, ne. Mm-hmm. As much as we're not there yet, I think we are on the way because if you've seen a lot of movies that are South African, if you look at how much effort is being put into either depicting a typical Johannesburg mm. as a location, mm. I think we get in there. True. Because I can identify in a lot of South African films. I can see the Nelson Mandela Bridge. I can but see we've done enough Joburg shoots, guys. Yeah. <laughs> Time we move to a different city. Can we go well, explore Pretoria? Well, yeah. <laughs> No, no, no. There is blood and water in mm-hmm. Cape Town. Mm-hmm. We need to do uh, quite a lot of mm-hmm. that. I'm trying to think of a movie that was outside Johannesburg that Very we have hard. seen. Yeah. yeah. I mean, Five Fingers for Marsalias. I mean, they, they shot it. Uh, I think also some parts in the Sotho, yeah. in the Free State, so they really explored, you know, locations. Mm. So I think filmmakers even, would explore even locations. Even okay, it was not Queen in South Africa, but it was you know? Africa. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I think that's where we need to be heading. Yeah. yeah that's where we, so I'm going to put you on the spot. What are some of the local films that have, South African films that have been released in the cinemas or swimming platforms that you just can never forget are some of your films? I really enjoyed Seriously Single because it, it it was committed to what it is. It's a comedy mm-hmm. and I did laugh. Mm-hmm. So that was an incredible movie. I just saw, obviously anybody that knows me, they know that I love Blood and Water as a series mm-hmm. for many, many reasons. If I start, we're not going to finish this video. Mm-hmm. I also enjoyed Dead Places recently because I am into horror type of genre as well as thriller <laughs> that is my genre mm. so i was so passionate about their places mm. and because it also gave us something different we just spoke about i am all girls now that is talking about the topic of human trafficking Check so there's the a lot channel. yeah the link, so, the link to the video will be in the description box so there's actually a lot i i'm i'm excited that there's a lot of films that are coming to mind when you are asking me about South African films that has had an impact on me, especially of late. So let me be a bit controversial. Is there a South African film that was released that you didn't like? You, <laughs> you are being controversial. Why would you do that? You're a me? film reviewer. I do have a film that I did not like, but it was not because it was bad. Okay. It, it was because I did not. I was not given enough opportunity to really look into it for what it is but i am glad that they have recently announced season two of it and that is how to ruin christmas remember they gave us three episodes i know it's a series I mean, they gave us three the episodes I and, and i was like ah oh, this is a movie guys yes yeah. <laughs> yeah like you're trying to so i think mm-hmm. with season two i'm really looking so forward to it was an experimental it. project yeah. you know like yeah. first christmas special in yeah. South Africa. Yeah. how do you even go about it when you're the first exactly think, yeah I think but not that I did not like it but I just feel like it did not give me enough to work with in terms of developing the characters so that I can care enough about them in order to really get the bigger picture that they were trying to give us 
And any films before we let you go that you will recommend that our audiences go and watch? <sighs> wow, there's a lot. Okay, uh, Kings of Jobek, I know a lot of people don't like it. <laughs> But I did <laughs> for my own reasons. Um, please watch. I also know that I was a little bit overly critical with One Night Con Con Policy. Con I know it's still on Showmax, right? Yeah, I loved your review. I loved. I loved your review. It dropped. It just be like Stop after it. you know. <laughs> shout out for consistency over there. I really, really enjoyed that. Uh, check that one out. Um, yeah, I think nothing's coming to mind right now. Mm -hmm. Apart from the ones that I mentioned, mm -hmm. I am all girls, um, seriously single. What am I missing? I feel like there's a movie that I'm supposed to mention right now that is not Have coming you seen to Sue the Winter to My Skin? No, I haven't seen that. Check it out on Showmax. Thanks for the recommendation. Um, and yeah, like I think, yeah, Sue the Winter to My Skin is one of the movies that I can say is a proud South African movie that you need to watch. I can. Yeah. It will defend. It will do the defending. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. And I'll check it out. what should people expect from your YouTube channel and as a full review? I just want to explore more ways of doing a movie review. Mm. I mean, right now I just dropped a video that is talking about what is in South African mm. theme. I mean theaters as well as cinemas right now mm. um it's part of a review i think it falls within the genre because True. as much as there are a lot of international films in there there's one South the one thing that i find interesting is that there's not a lot of south african films in cinemas Oh, and I would like true. for that to grow. So I'm just exploring right now to just. I also started a series that I think that I need to bring back, where yeah. I'm talking about different um, actors, directors, and all of that, and oh, getting yeah. into how they got started yeah. Yeah, and celebrating true. their yeah. achievements. I did one on. Warren Masamula yeah. on my channel. Yeah. So I would like to educate more people about who we have in the South African I industry that, that is doing well. Because I don't think there's anyone who really, really is doing that. Yeah. So do it. We are rooting for you. Thank, Thank you. Thank you so much for honoring us with your time. Thank you for Thank having me. Thank you for watching Utah <laughs> TV. We appreciate your support and your consistent love. Uh, please do like, share, and subscribe. Uh, yeah, shout out to, to, to the consistent consistent viewers man i do yeah. know because i'm afraid to mention because you mentioned that and you don't mention that why who did i mention who did no, i no i'm just saying me oh like when you when you shout out somebody who's constantly watching and oh. then you forget another uh, but you like that's why you were in that other 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 video you know what i'm not gonna mention these guys you know yourself <laughs> thank you thank you thank you